I got my new horn there. These look really, really clean. Oh, geez. This has been bought. Rewired there. Lots of rust. Pretty bad dents here. This is going to take a lot of work. A lot of work. I have a really good TIG welder though, so there's lots of dents throughout the tank here as well, but. These aren't stock, so the front end's probably been replaced. I've never seen bare upper fork tubes, so I think that these cup holders are probably were prepped for chroming, maybe, or I'm not sure. Stock brake, very rusty rims, new wheels, good bolts. No broken cracks here. No skid plate. On this side, there was oil in the barrel to check compression. Five wire ET, who knows what condition that's in. This is the original bolt here. So that's a good sign. These bolts are all very clean. We have to Healy coil one of the primary case bolts, I already know. Somebody's put an extension on the card. And a non stop coil. And it's wired with boyer right now, but supposedly the person couldn't get the ET to run with the boyer properly, so they didn't get to the point of putting a battery in it. Something's not right here. I'm not sure if this is stock or not. It might be, but I'm not sure. I haven't had a 67 before. It looks like it's a stock arrangement. I'll take the guess that it is, but it could also be just a bodge. But there is no adjusting nut here for the button switch that would be on a shooting star of 69 so that's an indication looks like it has the original rear passenger peg still not that they are in the right position they would hit the brake arm but work there shocks will have to be replaced or rebuilt missing its back chain guard here. Fender's destroyed. You might be able to fix it, but I doubt it. And that's the bike. So on eBay you can see it polished up and stuff, but it's not really a great starting point, but it's a starting point, and at least I know how to work on the engine, so.